the Republican Conference Chairman Mike Pence of Indiana. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We come to this well at a very difficult time in the life of our nation. American families are struggling under the weight of this recession. Millions of Americans are watching as their life savings are evaporating before their eyes. My own family has been touched by the hardship in the housing crisis and by job loss. So I come, I come to this floor with a sense of urgency, and it's a sense of urgency that was confirmed this morning with the jobs report and a startling reality. But in the midst of these very difficult times, the American people are rising to the occasion. As we speak in this well this morning, millions of Americans are doing in their small businesses, in their family farms, and around their kitchen tables what this Congress should be doing. They're finding places to save. They're putting off expenditures that they don't have to make this year to make sure they make ends meet for the priorities in their lives. And yet, this Congress, by this massive omnibus bill, is going on with spending as usual. An 8 percent increase in federal spending, the largest increase in a single year since I was in high school in the 1970s, apart from those, those months following September the 11th, is not what the American people expect to see this Congress doing. Spending as usual with, with thousands upon thousands of earmarks and special projects is, is not what the American people expect from this Congress during these difficult times. Uh, Madam Speaker, they want to see the Congress doing what they're doing, and that is making careful decisions, practicing fiscal discipline, and setting aside business as usual to confront these challenging times. And so I rise today to say, let's not just do this continuing resolution for a week, but as others have said, for the rest of this year, let's freeze federal spending in virtually every area of the government. Let's say no earmarks uh, in the year 2009. Uh, and, and it's not a value judgment on the members who've made those project requests. Uh, I'm, I myself don't request projects of that nature. But it is to say, Madam Speaker, that in these difficult times, we have to do what every American family, every small business owner, and every family farmer is doing, and that is making sacrifices and practicing discipline. I urge my colleagues in both parties to join the minority today in supporting our motion to recommit. It's a motion that would essentially freeze all federal spending, say no to historic increases in spending in these difficult times, no to earmarks, and say yes to the practiced values of millions of Americans in these difficult days.